this is a small video on uh, knowing your system, uh, what to expect uh, out of your system. It's an, uh, something which I wanted to talk for a long time. Um, I got the time today, so I wanted to make it, uh, make a video, quick video and post it. Okay. So uh, when you trade the system, uh, you should know what is your probability of success. Um, you know, how many trades you lose in, uh, for, a, say for a count of 20 which is suppose you take 20 trades in a month how much how many you lose how many you win um, because in order to help yourself and understand if you're going wrong somewhere right uh, this is a probability calculator uh, we will try to discuss this uh, sheet and i will post the link on where to download this uh, at the end of this uh, uh, webinar or uh, on the webinar page itself so you can download it uh, from there so let's start so suppose you have you know you take 20 trades and uh, you have a losing probability of 30 that means you have a success rate of 70 percent winning and 30 percent losing right so now what are the chances uh, of you getting one loss right one loss is one two three four there are this is a certainty right what are the chances of you getting two consecutive losses at one at, at a single go so uh, let's uh, now this gives an example here we can just uh, correlate here itself right so it is 30 percent so 30 percent that is around 76.83 percent chances are there where you get where you will get two consecutive losses okay there are around 31 percent chances where you get, where you will get uh, one you know three consecutive losses that means you may be winning winning then you lose one trade lose another trade lose another trade three times in a row right that is 30 percent chances and there are around there is around around less than 10 percent chances where you will get four consecutive losses okay where that, that is suppose you take 20 trades you will hit trade one maybe winner but trade two trade three trade four trade five will be losers right there is 10 percent chances right and it is less than five percent chance of getting five consecutive losses so you can just ignore it anything less than five you should you can ignore it because chances of that happening are pretty rare so how we can use this probability data uh, to our uh, advantage is something like this right see whenever you are trading you should be ready for uh, with the percentage of your win you know uh, with your past record you might you should have some probability of winning and losers losing right so with that you should be ready for two consecutive losses for sure there is no escape from this because 76 percent is quite high right you should be prepared to get three consecutive losses which is around you know 30 percent chances right and you can expect around uh, four consecutive losses because it's around 10 percent means if you that might happen but the moment if you get around five consecutive losses that means you're doing something wrong okay that is the time when you need to uh, stop trading uh, analyze what you're doing whether you're doing any mistakes uh, improvise on uh, your execution whatever is it whatever it is whatever, whether it's a psychological issue or uh, a system issue whatever it is you need to stop trading when you get this okay so uh, my probability is roughly around uh, i have a losing probability of around 30 35 percent so I'm, i prepare myself on a monthly basis i look at my losing trades and try to see where i fall and for next month i try to see what i should be ready for right if it is a 30 percent usually my uh, losing rate is around 30 percent so i'm always ready for this if i get two consecutive losses it's okay with me if i get three consecutive losses it's okay with me uh, i'm okay for that if i get four consecutive losses i i start you know slowing down and checking my trades if I get uh, five consecutive losses, I'll stop trading there. Okay. So coming back to uh, this topic again, ST had a probability of roughly from 25 to 20 uh, probabilities, right? So he has a probability of 20% losing trade. Sometimes he had 25% losing trade. So he fell between uh, somewhere here and here, right? So for him, you can go back and check the charts. Getting two consecutive losses was quite, oh, you know, uh, it was happening on a monthly basis okay uh, you can go and see in few months he had even three consecutive losses right uh, so i think this is how you need to uh, judge yourself 
because ultimately this trading is a probability game all right so you should know uh, what is the probability of uh, facing this scenario so that you are in sync with uh, your expectation and what the market gives okay hope this helps yeah thank you